How to work with ASP.NET Web Forms in Visual Studio 2026. Chances are that you're maintaining or updating an older web application rather than starting a completely new project. And fortunately, there's no need to revert to legacy IDE tools. Visual Studio 2026 has you covered. As a quick refresher, ASP.NET Web Forms is built on the .NET framework, which is a Windows only and it's considered mostly outdated for modern development. For new web projects, developers are encouraged to use new ASP.NET, and this can also be called .NET Core. And you could also use contemporary or modern fronted uh, frameworks. However, for legacy web applications, web forms is still fine. And in some cases, it's the only option because it's, you're maintaining the application. For the installation, to use ASP.NET Web Forms, you're going to need the full version of Visual Studio 2026. And I mean, lightweight editors such as Visual Studio Code, they don't really have the full support for this framework. The free community edition of Visual Studio 2026 should be fine for most of what you're going to need to be doing. If you're setting up Visual Studio 2026 for the first time, it's worth noting that the IDE does a whole lot of stuff outside of just web development, uh, desktop application to cloud services, supports multiple programming languages. So to get started with, with web forms, you're gonna need to install specific workloads and components. Number one, launch the installer, open the installer and then select modify your current installation. Under the workloads tab, ensure that ASP.NET and web development is selected. For the individual components, navigate to this section, look for the latest supported version of that .NET framework. Most likely is gonna be 4.8 or the last version of 4.8. And then this is very, very important. Make sure to include ASP.NET features, ASP.NET framework project and item templates and the .NET SDK. So these, these three are very, very important. For just, I mean, comprehensive development, you might need to be installing additional components that, that are required, but in most cases, these are already gonna be pre-selected uh, based on the work workload that you would have chosen. So now, once everything is installed, let's try and create a sample project. And we're gonna just have a, a obviously, a, a very simple web forms project. We can open Visual Studio 2026, click on Create New Project, and use the search bar to filter the templates by typing web forms. There are probably other ways to find web forms, but this is the quickest way. And then select ASP.NET Web Forms application, specifically for the .NET framework. We can just double check with the description that it's indeed the web forms to avoid any confusion can name your project and then continue. And then on the next screen, make sure that web forms is selected as the project type. Then the new web form project is generated, ready to use. Now we can just have a quick little demo. So this newly created web forms project, it's basically just a baseline, a foundation for building or maintaining legacy applications. Uh, most developers use web forms when they're gonna be doing maintenance, you know, ideally you're not gonna be creating, like I've said in the intro, you're not gonna be starting a new project on the web forms. And one of the standard features on web forms is it's very, very, very simple, particularly for developers who prefer event-driven programming. And let's just go through a quick example. If we right click on the project and add a new page, base it on the default master page provided in the template, drag and drop web forms control onto the page, uh, this eliminates the need for manually creating HTML. You don't have to manually code by hand and it's really rapid development. So we're gonna just put a breakpoint in the on this page, run the application in debug mode, and then we can test the functionality in the browser. Most people would have done a couple of projects by now. They know how quickly it is to get started with forms without having the, a deep knowledge of modern web development. And this is what made WebForms very great and useful for its day for back in the 2010s or the early 2000s. Now, in conclusion, 
using ASP.NET Web Forms in Visual Studio 2026. Very, very straightforward if you have the correct setup. The key items to include, you need to be installing ASP.NET and the web development workload. Ensure that all the relevant .NET firmware components, especially the latest version of .NET 4.8, are enabled. And you have to include ASP.NET features, .NET Framework Project and Item Templates, and the .NET SDK. Webforms is no longer actively being supported. It's not the cutting edge technology. It's still a valuable tool for maintaining legacy applications. And with Visual Studio 2026, you can very easily continue working on these systems while leveraging the RDE's latest feature sets.